man Carlos Miller just here to let you know that we are expanding the merchandise department. Look at this, check out these pastel colors that we got. You feel me? What's that, light purple? What's that like? It's a boy blue? What's this right here? This like, oh, you think you cute? You just think you cute with this shit on, don't you? Look, that's right. That's 85 South. Make sure you go hit the website, 85apparelco.com. And I'm telling you, we taking over, bro. I think the ladies is going to really enjoy these right here. And I'm talking about for all the hustlers out there, that's if you're still living, grab you something that say 85 South on it, bro. I'm talking about a t-shirt. I'm talking about a hat. I'm talking about some socks. I'm talking about a something. It ain't nothing to it. Hit the website. It's right here. You see where my fingers point? That's where the website go. Make sure you put the website right here. But look, go out there and support the 85 South Show. Yeah. Hey, man. Huh? Say, man. What we doing? Hey, that ain't it. It's main. Main. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Say, man. Hey, man. Memphis, man. Oh, I'm going Memphis. Memphis, man. Memphis, man. I forgot the day, man. But we coming. October 12th. October 12th, man. We're going to be in South Haven. They're right back, man. We going to motherfucking... Everybody from Memphis can drive over there. Yeah, we you know South Haven right now, so we're not going to Memphis. We're going to Mississippi. We're going to South Haven, Mississippi, but it's North Mississippi. Everybody from Memphis going to go. But all the Mississippi people coming to South Haven with the letter center. No cap. October 12th. Yeah, you might get one of them birds, man. That's a so pay we're not week going too, to so you ain't got no South excuse. We're going to go be. ahead, man, call one man, and get one of them birds. So we're going to South Haven. Hit the website. October 12th. But a lot of Memphis people. Get one of them there. birs, man. It's close to Memphis. Get one of them right birs. Right. Right. Memphis this way. Real, real man. Right there. Right there. Right South Haven, then he going to get one of them birds, man. You trying to get some birds? Some birds. At least makes the neighborhood a little bit more safe. No cap. At least for the kids. October 12th. Duval. Hey, man, you know where we going, man. Uh, it's time to go back. October 5th, we coming back to the Vistar Memorial huh? Auditorium. Where Slim. we going? Vistar. When? October 5th. You talking about nigga? Duval County. Come on yeah. now. And it's going down like that. Jacksonville, you Make heard? sure you grab some tickets and pull up on us, man. Come on, man. Big business. Come on. That's all we're talking about. Come Big on. Business. Duval. Jacksonville. Where they get the tickets? 85southshow.com. One crazy story. A few people have heard it. But Prince did the Fox Theater one time. It was in the 90s. Right. Prince came to the Fox. And Prince is like a real music head, for real. Like, he just like to go jam and rock out. That's his thing. So I called Abe and Esso. Said, hey, hey, man. I'm bringing Prince to the club tonight. Like, man, you bullshit. I said, man, I'm bringing Prince to the club tonight. He gonna perform. He like, man, come on, man. But Prince performed in SO so long, I left. I left his ass in there. <laughs> <laughs> he was still in there. He was still in there, man. I left. I'm like, man, I'm not finna spend the night in here with you, man. No. <laughs> I remember y'all first started this. Like when I first started in radio. Yeah. Y'all figure out how to build subscribers. You figure out how to make people engage. You knew what to say to make people engage. You knew what clips to make to put the short out to make people want to go watch the long version of the video. Cause yeah, I know, I know what's going on. I don't know who you talking about. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's one for great sweet little rock. <laughs> so, baby, baby. baby. <laughs> you see y'all fly on the way. Talk to your talk, OG. Come on. I ain't put my glasses on, cause I'm tired to talk. You put mine on too. Let's go. DC Let's go. on the way. Let's go. Huh? DC can sing, he can rap. This is the ATL Jamie Foxx. Right here. That's him. I appreciate it, OG. That's him. You know, I fought with all my partners that, that work at the radio station. You know what I mean? Ain't nobody gonna ever be bigger than Greg Street. Not in the A. It's hard. You said you set a tone where it was like. Well, you gotta be willing to do the work. Right. You just ain't do radio. It's a lot right. of work outside yeah, the radio. Yeah, this shit. He in this shit. Man, this would be the perfect time to tell these people. Welcome back to the oh! 85 South Show. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Voted the blackest show amongst black people who have ever used hey, Vaseline yeah. as lotion before. Yeah. yeah. Oh, hey, yeah. Awesome, baby. Oh. Absolutely. <laughs> Come on. If you ever use any blue magic hair grease in your life, the show is dedicated to you and your Ultra loved one. <laughs> Ultra Sheen. Pink oil moisturizer. Ultra Sheen. Ultra Sheen. 
Uh-huh. Click. <laughs> you know, black people, we had a we had corner of the market on sheens okay. for a minute. Oh, we done okay. had Afro sheen, oil sheens, sheen oil moisturizers. Okay, but can't forget the ladies. Right, Absolutely. It's just for me. Come on, man. It'll wait. But the West Coast, they had the good friend on. They're gonna be in your comments about that. <laughs> yeah, okay, bet. <laughs> well, look here, man. <laughs> We getting the whole history lesson today, man, because we got a whole legend in the okay. in the South, in hip hop, in the black community. What? None other Ooh. than Greg Street. Hold up. I don't care where you are in the, in the world right now. Hey, this is Bobby Smith. Bobby Smith. Bobby Smith. Bobby Smith. Hey, I don't care where you are in the world, or the what biggest. time you think it is, if or what time you watch it. Hey, right the now. <laughs> It's six o'clock. It's six, six o'clock. o'clock. It's six o'clock. Six Whatever o'clock. time you watch this, uh-huh. it's always gonna be six o'clock. Fuck it. If you grew up in Houston, Dallas, Mobile, the whole South. Mobile, Alabama, whole South Fuck game, it. Bob. Atlanta. The biggie. You know what it is. WBLX, you was on that? WBLX? Yeah, come on, man. My family from Pensacola. That was the one state. Yeah. Come on. Ooh. Yeah, that's Tyler Fox. Yeah. The biggie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Blue Sky Club, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, man. Fuck this beach. Come on, man. <laughs> That OG, Roy triple OG. Jones, Roy Jones, Roy Jones, Roy Jones. Had shit, yeah. Remember the white boy had the, had the song, Knock Him Out the Ring, Roy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Roy, Roy Jones Jr. daddy was a G. Like, when you, when you think, when you people study, like, Floyd Mayweather and Roy Jones, like, they daddies was like, like the shit. Like, Roy Jones Jr. daddy used to rent the Pensacola Civic Center and throw fights like we throw parties. Yeah. Mm. Rent the building, yeah. set the fight up, yeah, and go in there and get the dope. People in Pensacola definitely got an independent yeah. like spirit. Like we we'll we'll ask how much how much it costs to get this motherfucker real <laughs> quick. <laughs> we better do something in this bitch. I gotta make some money. But they was always cool. Roy was always cool. Roy always been cool. People. That man would ride a horse through the hood, dab everybody up <laughs> off the horse. Always you know that's gangster shit. That man got chickens. He got dogs. He got hey <laughs> man. That's crazy. And they listen. Right. <laughs> they check this too. What up? Come on. <laughs> they seen what the fuck he do in the ring. But Wait. yeah, man. Welcome to the 85 South Show. We're at the 85 South Show. We need Triple OG, man. It's just a clock. It's just a clock. It's time for Grand Street, Street to rock. Come yeah. on, man. Oh, me. One other thing. Iconic, man. But man, like you were saying, this is a lot to go with. Power word, man. Y'all, if you not from the South, man, do yourself a favor and just... Google. Go check out the Greg Street mixtapes, man. It's good. Just, he better break down so much shit for it's you. It's like man. 6 o'clock on the expressway. He and your voice is the place to be. Oh, we just around. We, we ain't even tripping. Traffic? We ain't start hearing about traffic on. later. What'd you say? Rod. What's up, Greg? Hey, man, I'm at the 85 South Show. They talking about you in here, man. He like, okay. <laughs> nah, what the fuck? I'm no better than that. What the fuck? We talk about him, but we show nah, love, we talk, man. We, 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 show, love, we talk about how, how you always stayed down in the hood in Pensacola. I was telling about how your dad used to rent the Pensacola Civic Center and throw fights like we throw parties. That be yeah. yeah. Roy. Yeah. 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 Roy. Oh, he, you done pissed him off. Oh, he finna pull up. He shit. Gonna, he, I heard the shit you said. He, 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 did he hear that we fuck with him? He, <laughs> he, 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 he just said, OK. He, know he, he, he was like, hey, I'm up here with the 85 South, boy. You know what I mean? He on the way right now. Uh, I just so happened to be around the corner. <laughs> hey, man. Line him up. <laughs> nah, we fuck with OG. Hey, we last like car show I did in Mobile was when the Phantoms came out. Roy Jones was the first person in the Mobile, Pensacola area to get that double R. And they Ooh, came out with the He brought it to the car show. Damn. He had just got it. Last stadium. Damn. That's crazy. You motherfucker icon, OG. You done seen Atlanta evolve, my boy. You done seen everywhere the not seen that had a hand in. That's what I'm saying. It's you like. Done pushed the, you done pushed the shit in the right direction at the Yeah, man, if we look at. What came from Greg Street, man? Man, this shit goes so far to be on the radio. What was, what was Somebody the wildest do part? I was, just finna, I was just finna say, like, what Bruh. was the most exciting <laughs> part out of all this shit? When you got most you shit, you like, I can't believe this shit finna happen, y'all. <laughs> man, it's been so many of them. That's what I'm saying. I took Kanye to body tap. OK, talk your talk. <laughs> <laughs> Outcast at the Bond Factory in Dallas. I had Roy Jones Jr. Come to Dallas one time because I had a live remote. 
He came to Dallas for to do something with me. I took him to, to Burger King. And he, me and him worked the drive through at my live remote. For real? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to do it, shit. Dope. I mean, all the shows though. Ice Cube, Common. When he first came out, he used to bring the Dallas to College Night. Mm -hmm. When he came, when he was just the, the backpacker, backpacker rapper, Common. Uh, Wu Tang Clan, Biggie. Yeah. Now what was it like with Biggie? Now we from the south. I got a Biggie freestyle. I got a six o'clock time for the street to rock. Yeah. Come on, man. Come on, man. I bet you won't play. I bet you. I got bet you I will. That's man, some man, historical so shit, right? So you just be at the house and y'all don't realize to the shit. Y'all don't realize Craig Mack was really big before Biggie. Craig Mack blew up first. Where you from, Memphis? Mem no. him, and, him and Biggie on the same leg, both on the same the puff. Yeah. Nah, it was another dude like in um nah, the first Mississippi or some shit. They were saying that could be it was a, it was a nigga in Mississippi that had a flow. He was big and all that shit. They were they were saying that that what Biggie got his style from. No nigga be capping. That's a good rap cap. though. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? The boy from Mississippi. Well, Biggie got his free his. I, I that's what they that were story. trying to say. Well, I don't know. I don't know about that one. <laughs> Biggie was wrong. No, big, I'm a Biggie fan. I don't give a fuck who started it. I want to hear it all. I definitely want to hear that. It's time for Grand Street to rock. You already know. <laughs> <laughs> fuck around about to get this dope. I just said that. He shot this in the profit. <laughs> That's hard. That's crazy. You can't get right. shit like that. Like that, like some. That's I like gold. It. That's like classic. Like that shit worth so much money. Just that, hey man. You, if I had that in my phone, I'd be like, I know y'all niggas ain't got Biggie, this. Biggie was so cool. Just a hook, hook for good street to run. He got this shit. Yeah. I think the first or the second time he came to my show. He brought China with me, his little girl China. Right. He was about three or four years old at the time. Him and Faith's first daughter. Hey. The one you talking about, uh, you got good money for my baby girl? Mm-hmm, yeah. mm-hmm. That's Damn. crazy. What was your introduction to the to the radio and music and all this shit? Well, I, 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 took, I took guitar lessons when I was a kid, and then I played in the band. So when I got to high school, I start DJing. What instrument? I use my guitar and uh, in the band I play drums and xylophone. And, um, and my sister had a piano, so I messed around on the piano. So I, when I started DJing parties, I should use my uh, my guitar amp for so my amplifier to DJ like little parties and stuff. So I had an idea. I was always forward thinking. So I had an idea to go to the radio station and start advertising my parties on the radio. So when I went to the radio station, it was like, they didn't have a big staff. So a guy named Harvey Knight, he was like, you know, we don't have a lot of big staff. We don't have a big budget for stuff like that, but would you be interested in getting in the radio? You know, I'm hearing your name buzzing in, in the city. And I got it, got it on the radio, worked at that station. And when I graduated from high school, I went to work at a white station. That's where you really learn the real craft of radio and how it works. That's why when he, he said like, when he was saying about me being on the radio versus he cool with everybody, but it's different. Because once you really learn, there's, it's, it's still art, but there is some science to it. So when you, the reason why you listen to me more than you listen to everybody else, because I know some stuff that they don't know. Because I wasn't the guy who just got on the radio because I wanted to play new music. I got on the radio to learn radio. I already knew about the music. But it wasn't about just being the person that did that. It was like the community, the people, understanding understanding time spent listening, understanding the average quarter hour, understanding the timing and how everything works. And like a lot of DJs don't get it. Like if 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 you're in a city like Atlanta and you got five or six different radio stations and you think you're breaking records, you it's just like being in the club. 
You in the club, you play a song people don't like, what's gonna happen? Yeah, they just fuck with you. You play a song people don't know what they're gonna do. They so you in the car, you in the car, you got all the all the radio station program on your radio. A song come on that, that you unfamiliar with, it could be a hot song, but you don't know it yet. You and your homeboys ain't heard y'all ain't kicked it. What? Don't turn, don't go to another station. Especially if a woman in the car. Yeah. She gonna, she gonna hit the button. So it's always about a, a forward, progressive, and familiar movement. And um, when I went to Dallas, I actually worked for a guy named Ken Dow. Ken Dow was um, an old white, older white man who had been in radio since he was a kid. But when he was young in the radio, like with me, when I got in the game with Harvey Knight, he actually worked for a guy by the name of Gordon McClendon. Gordon McClendon ran a station in Dallas called KVIL. That's where pop radio was birthed. That's where it came from. Pop radio? That's where pop radio started. When, when all the white stations started just playing the most popular songs, mm -hmm. and all the black stations were playing, all all yeah. yeah. playing the beat cuts, and yeah. everybody started listening to white stations, he was the guy who pioneered that format. So when you listen to black radio, you'd be like, why they play the same songs over and over again? Because that's what people want to hear. You know what I'm saying? You go, when you used to go to the record store, you didn't go in the record store and buy all the new records. You went in the record store and bought the record that people was talking about. That's all you wanted. You know what I'm saying? It, it, Eric B and Rakim album be sitting right here. But today you can't even get LL Cool J. If they start talking about L, start talking about L, uh, Rakim tomorrow, I'll be back next week for Rakim. But today, I need that bigger and deafer. <laughs> I need that Rock the Bell. I need that Deer event. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So it's not scientific. It's really like a lot of common sense theory. Like, you know what I'm saying? But like for white people, they have to use research to know what we need. We living in the research. You know what I'm saying? When you go on gathering data, trying to figure out what's going on. You Like in the elections, what they talking about? At the polls, we doing polls. The polls say that Kamala's ahead of Trump or Trump is ahead of blah, 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 whatever. But when you living in it, we are the polls. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They talking about us. Exactly. When you go to an 85 South show, you know your audience. That's the research. Right. That's the data that they wanted to ask you. Hey, well, well, how many white people was at the show? How many black people was at the show? How many women was at the show? How many men was at the show? How many women was there over 25? How many was there, you know, 18 to 30? That's I mean, it's the data. You got the data. <laughs> you looking at it. You got it on video. I don't need nobody to do the research. So that was me and radio. Once I learned what I learned from the, from doing country radio, doing white AC radio. Once I learned, <laughs> what you was on that country? You was so hold on. You talking on all these? Yeah. You ain't changed your voice for the country. No, bitch. You gotta swear that thing out. Greg Street on the. Oh, you listening to WR and R? WR and R, Greg Street. <laughs> That shit hard. It's five fifteen. Time of Greg Street. Time of Greg Street. That's, what, Greg Street that's, 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 that's what that's what the knowledge is. Right. You know right. Because it's a, it's a it's a totally different ball game. Yeah. When you're in a small market, when you're in a small that's market, crazy. the white programmers and the and 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 and, and the, the big white guys doing the morning shows and you listen to them and you listen to, you see how shit moving, you see how stuff going. It's a totally different ball game. And that's why a lot of people can't really catch on to it. Yeah, too, man, man. You know what I'm saying? They think they get a few likes on Instagram and a few views on the video. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even really do podcasts. I told him, I'm like, I'm, I'm going to do this for you. Yeah. Because, you know, I understand the game. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got to understand what the likes and the views really mean. Like, I remember y'all first started this. Like when I first started in radio. Yeah. Y'all figured out the algorithm. Y'all figured out how to monetize. Y'all figured out how to build subscribers. You figured out how to make people engage. You knew what to say to make people engage. You knew what clips to make, to put the short out to make people want to go watch the long version of the video. I'm going to put this 20 seconds on my Instagram and they're going to know what you're talking about. So now you got to go to the YouTube. I get, I get 950, a million subscribers. I'm making a million dollars a year. I know, I know what's going on. I don't know who you talking about. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's one for Greg Street, the rock. So, baby, baby. <laughs> Once you start learning the game, you start learning the game, understanding the game, then it's not a game. Right. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's a business. It's big business. Yes, it is. 
Yeah, it is big like, business. I'm so proud of y'all. Speaking of which, we got the big business <laughs> comedy tour. Yes, we do. <laughs> Headed to a city, I mean. City. A city. City, nigga. Come on, man. Oh, we did it again. God damn. We ain't paid the light bill. Yeah, we did. We it's just, motion? Yeah. We been moving. That's what I'm saying, though. If you be you still did for a minute. How about to say, how you lean back there? Oh, boy, hey. Sit still. That's how Lights we live. Mm-hmm. How we living that day? We still in the hood. No yeah, guy. but just like what you said. But this you building is crazy. Though. We done turned into a big business. Yeah, we did. Oh, yeah. It is a big business. And when I seen y'all go to Dallas to the bomb factory, I made the bomb factory. Talk your talk now. Mm, when I seen shit. y'all go to Dallas to the bomb factory and Prime Time showed up, I was like, yeah, yeah. ain't oh, yeah. myself. Shout so, out to Prime. Yeah. So yeah. Give, give, yeah. Us, yeah. give us, give us, give us a good story out, man. at the bomb factory. Get you a Prime. It was all white, man. Especially if you got Boost Mobile. It was an old white man and his son. Still gotta go. They to had a club on Commerce in South in, in downtown Dallas called the Bond Factory. Right. My homeboy Jane Williams, he came to me to start doing all these college parties when I first came to Dallas. So right. Shout to Jane Williams. He found the people at the Bond Factory, turned me on to it. I started bringing everybody through there. I'm talking about everybody. Mm. Anybody you can name. Oh, everybody. we had a ball in there. What we did? Like four shows? We two? did. Oh, we did two of them over. Yeah. They couldn't get nobody in there. Man. They had never had, I did the first black shows in the bond factory. They had never had no black people in there. That was it. Cause you see where it is. Show. Yeah. Yeah. You see where it's located. Motherfucker in the middle of nowhere. It's downtown, downtown. It ain't in the middle of nowhere. It's downtown. Oh, no, I'm, getting that, I'm getting that spot missed with the uh the Dallas Theater. Nah, the bond factory. That's chopper on the dress. I'm talking about it. Chopper on the dress. Tell people, <laughs> tell people in the comments, <laughs> they was in Dallas Fort Worth. From 92 to 95, who, they, who did they see at the bomb factory? Man, that was three, man. Why? I'm talking about MC8, Outkast. This is going to here. Chris Cross. Come on. And then we had a spot on Northwest Highway uh-huh. called The Spot. I brought the Fujis in there when they first came out. So when I moved to Atlanta, everybody was wondering why, how he get Lauren Hill on his show. Yeah, yeah. Because she was pregnant. She, had, she was pregnant with her first baby. Right. Her and her daddy came to my show, and everybody was wondering, how he get long here to come to his show? And she ain't going to nobody else's station. Because uh-huh. I knew her from Dallas. And nobody else was messing with the Fugees, and I did a party with them. Right. And she always remembered that. That's hard. That's fire. Yeah. <laughs> everybody that came through. Man, nigga, the pioneer this shit, man. Yeah. Man, that's crazy. He really the party near the streets, I'm telling you, man. I'm about to crank this DC Young Fly up, though. Talk your talk, OG. It sound like when they hear young boys, they understand. But see what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna call him by a real name, right? His real street name. I'm not gonna say it right now, but I'm, I'm gonna do him like, cause see, when I was in Mississippi in Mobile, my name was Gregory KP. So when Two Chains changed his name, I you try to turn people on to that all the time. So I'm actually gonna turn DC Young Fly into two people, and by the time y'all figure it out, right? You gonna have about a half a million billion dollars. That's what y'all put half that a B. A half a B. Woo. Hey, what y'all puts ass get? Uh, he's two guys. He's two guys. He's a comedian and he's a car guy. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Facts. A lot of people that mess with little cars ain't never been to an 85 South show. Love it, cars. The boy got magnificent but they, cars. But they know him from cars. Boy got cars. <clears throat> he got cars. They call him for tickets. Not all of them, though. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> he got some people that he yeah. rock with with them cars. They ain't never asking for no ticket. Yeah. And they ain't trying to see 85 South. Yeah. I want that 69 Buick you got down there. I want that Camaro. Give you 250,000 dollars. I want that shit down. You talking about none of that talking. Now, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. Y'all the ones who want them G-bodies, they want them tickets. They want them tickets. <laughs> no cap. They want them tickets. Them dog. G-bodies and them box the, Chevys. The box they going to pull up. The box they Chevy boys up. and them, and them goddamn damn G-body boys, them oh, yeah. Regals and them Monte Carlo, they want them yeah. tickets. With them Chevelles, them 67 Chevelles, and them 55 If you just pull in that nigga yard, I see you, you get motivated and be like, them Trans Am. Nah, he had a dream, and he shitting on somebody. I don't know who it is. <laughs> <laughs> he shitting on somebody bad. That Trans Am attract white man. Oh, yeah. That Trans Am. He get mad at you hear me? You want to shit? He love this shit. But he showed the nigga, you ain't fucking with me. Man. Oh, man. <laughs> we, need go, we need to just go and do us a junkyard, though. Yeah, a junkyard? A junkyard make money, boy. Junkyard make money to pull apart. And pull apart. But they be stealing, too, because I'm telling you, I done been there a couple times. I ain't but, had to pay for nothing. But if you ain't paying but, but $100 for the car, 
<laughs> you don't mind you getting, getting your, catching your man Salad. that time, dude? I know that cool, but then we already said the pub like five times. Man, I don't want to work right hey, now. Hey, you hey, man. I've been, they done put a whole... I've been looking for some muscle. A whole motor fan in their pants. They've been booed. Trump claiming 15 million folks around here. I'm like, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how you hire 15 million folks, but he hired 15 million over here. We can get some of them to help us run the junkyard. He hired 15 million. <laughs> we'll talk about it. You know what one is? Oh. We need one. We need one. We gonna get 15 us million, you gotta feel that. You gonna get us some acres proud. and get us a junkyard. 15 million. He hired 15 million across the United States. No, they said, you know, they spend a little thing talking about the, the he said they immigrants. Came 15 million people in Canada. Oh, 15 million. Yeah. Man, they ain't yeah. count no damn what body. That mean they watch them count. They watch them. They like. Hey man, I'm, I'm, like, I'm like, what you put fit? What, what fifteen? What? I, that's Atlanta three times. What Come, on, <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. But then that mean you counting. No. That mean you watching them come across I and you mean counting. You lying. Right. <laughs> well, Stop playing. Yeah. When they say they add jobs, what the fuck kind of jobs are these? And then they trying to then they trying to put race on the job. We got black jobs. Now don't just say black job. I can work and be who the fuck I want to be. Ooh, black jobs would be hard. What if they let us create our own black jobs though? No, nah, don't do that. Niggas nah, already stupid that, too man. low. They, they going for the bullshit. Give with. me the custodian. What if niggas' job really was how they really described their job? You know, a nigga be like, man, what you do for work? <laughs> you know, uh, I got down. Shit, let me see how I can put this shit. Uh, I steal a Cali convert. Ain't no wrong with being a custodian. <laughs> I'm just saying. I steal a <laughs> Cali convert. <laughs> I don't want niggas be like, I'm a custodian. We come up nah. with our own black job, you. man. We like got this. black jobs. This is a black job. Just like, anything you do every day is a black job. I ain't no black job. A black no job is thing. not having a job. Thank you. <laughs> that's a black job. That's not it. Having a job. That's a fucked up ass black and job. And that's it. <laughs> you everything don't want else, that black job. You don't want that one. <laughs> you will go to any other job, and when you get there, it's still a some black pe- job. Some people like that job. No, nope. yeah. no, they just babies. Yeah. Some motherfuckers. Some people like that. Yeah, job. They because they you know out. how to get paid with it. They know how to get paid for being vulnerable. You know what really like? <laughs> really this nigga don't prefer perfect being sad. Say, when the motherfuckers say you have, I can't one do it. Job. Give me some money. <laughs> That's a hell of a yeah. shit to say because they don't mean it the way that they saying. But well, now that you had one job. But that don't mean shit. Your one job could be rocket science, nigga. That shit ain't easy. Don't just try to minimize my one job. Yeah, but they didn't. They didn't try to burn you with two jobs. You only had one job. They're just trying to put you in a box because they know. That's what I'm saying. They know. You ain't got to be right but one time. Right. That's it. Yeah. If you, if Shout out to my custodian, man. I don't want y'all to think of shit. Bro, you scared of them custodians, nah, man. Nah, I just know custodian be working hard, man. I don't want them niggas to be thinking on CEO. Why you disrespecting them? Because niggas be only wanting to do that. Like, you got a black job? No, they don't be wanting to do no, that. You no, know I'm saying a black I mean, job, my man. You got to do what you got to do. No, that's not a black job. Where you want to be. No. I'm saying when they was picking black jobs, they was picking like bullshit. And I'm like, don't pick. Stop picking. That's what they want y'all to do. Stop fucking picking. Just I tell think them black you can do people whatever. are the best drivers. We should do, do all the driving jobs. Drivers? Yeah. We're the best drivers. I don't know, man. And we can drive anything and make the shit look. No. Look, look. No. That means we got to drive the white folk wherever they need to go. Uh, and we been look, doing look, that shit anyway. Like that shit, he like, yeah. Because we be having other shit. Drive. We be having other shit to do. But drive. <laughs> that ain't got to be the only job, like, though. Like, if, like, you you that, at me? if you turn that into a black job, if you, if you turn you into a black job, you know what's going to happen. What? If they turn that into a you black job. You want it, you got it. If they turn that into a black job, <laughs> then they're going to make all, everybody going to have one of them car they're driving, so. They gonna figure out a way to put you oh, out there. They already got them, gangsta. I know they got them. Listen. They out of there. They gonna make sure they everybody got one. That's what I'm trying to you tell you. Don't pick. Don't say shit. Don't tell them to play. Hey, but hey, tell them you as soon as you, as you got your shit on to be a new. Yeah, man. They said we got benefits and everything. We gonna drive cars. Turn Y'all don't new. understand Next how year, important self driving cars. Self driving cars. Right now. Tesla. And hey, listen, man. Fuck they, all that shit. They, Without they, the drivers, this country they don't work. They got 18 wheels that drive themselves. Listen, they got cars that's parallel parking. I pulled yeah, up on one and said, hold on, stop, 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 stop. I said, ain't nobody in this motherfucker. All we need is one industry. They already be in there sleep sometimes. Hey, when, when, now when, they can really be sleeping there. When Uber first started using them, Vegas was one of the cities they tested it out. And that's where they at. My homeboy game. That's where they at. DJ Q-Tip, he, he, was in, he, he does a residency in Vegas pool party. He said, man, I went to Vegas when I went last month. It's a couple few years ago. He said, man, I went on when I went on Uber, I seen they had them. And I I I, I uh, requested one. He said, I couldn't believe this shit, bro. The car pulled up, but nobody in it. I wouldn't have got in that shit. He got in it. 
Ain't no I don't think so, bro. <laughs> I don't think I would. You say got, got it, it took away. You want, you want to be gone? Yeah. What? <laughs> no. We, we thinking ahead. We, we know who. We thinking ahead. Dunk Master. We finna make a dunk and oh, a box no. Chevy at Carlos Shop that dry <laughs> they self. <laughs> 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 Listen, we I don't do know what type thing. of computer we chip. We're going to do a G-Body. Listen. Easy money. We finna make the first G-Body. Before you make oh, easy let's. money, oh, we finna make a luxury G-Body mm. that drive itself. I don't know what type of computer chip is in that car, man, but that car is driving itself, man. The G-Body. No cap. The yeah, they they doing it, Marvin. You ain't seen They put a Tesla uh, plaid on a damn Honda Odyssey. They put one on. That shit went over. Your shit, your shit fell in your pocket. They put one, they, they, they did a Chevelle with the whole thing. white man be doing that on purpose. He got a little button, he be like, drop mic. <laughs> Shit just dropped. I, I got a, I got a hey one. Hey, man, kid. leave my nephew alone. I told you I bought a boat from his daddy. Go on. Boy, you know what I thought you about to say? I thought you about to say I bought him. Uh, <laughs> wow. No. Wow. <laughs> God damn, my, uh, time to <laughs> Leave my nephew alone. I bought him. I bought him. <laughs> I'm sorry, goddamn. Pay to adopt him. <laughs> this blue chew work. If you're asking that question, we get it. You want something that's proven to work, something real. Well, Blue Chew is here to answer that question with confidence and not just with words, but with action. Blue Chew is putting their money where their mouth is. That's right. They're giving you a month free to see for yourself. No guesswork, games, just results. And use promo code 85 Lounge so you can get started without paying a dime. That's a full month of Blue Chew free of charge. So, does Blue Chew work? Try it for yourself. For free. What do you have to lose? BlueChew.com. Your confidence, your way. Yes, sir. It's your man Carlos Miller back again with prize picks, where a single entry could be life-changing. The NFL has officially started, which is the best time to start. It's also crunch time in the WNBA. All you have to do is sign up with code 85SOUTH and get $50 instantly when you play your first $5 lineup. You don't need to win your lineup to receive the $50 bonus. It's guaranteed. Play a $5 lineup and you'll get $50 instantly just for playing. So go right now and download Prize Picks today for our daily fantasy sports experience. Daily fantasy made easy. Prize Picks. Now, man, I'm over here trying to find me some picks, man. What you think? Kirk Cousins for 246 and a half yards? I don't know. Trevor Lawrence at 253. That might be. Hey. Don't worry about what I'm picking. You need to make your own picks. Hey, go to Prize Picks right now and use promo code 85 South so you can get $50 instantly after you play the $5 lineup. I'm not playing. I'm on here right now. Miami. Uh huh. You already October know what's going 6th. on. We October 6th, James what? L. Knight Center. Hmm? James L. Knight Center. Push it to the oh, limit. What? Fuck, nigga. Hit the website. Oh, know what it is. Nigga. Mine, nigga. My, my, mine. Yeah. You sung a song? Uh, October 6th, Miami. Yeah. Jay Zell Night Center. Pushing it. Pushing it. 85SouthShow.com. Get your tickets. Fuck you, tell me about it. Yes, sir. Oh. <laughs> it's downstairs. Them yeah. downstairs. <laughs> nice garage. No, you stupid, <laughs> bro. You gonna fuck around and say some shit you ain't it's never heard before. I'm not white. I'm Scandinavian. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I'm an albino. What the hell is, what, what's Scandinavian? I'm yeah. light skinned. Scandinavian. Scandinavian. Where is it? I'm Indian. It's over there. Where is it? It's over there. Scandinavian. It's not like it's white. I'm not fucking white, bro. It's not, it's not over here. Yeah, it ain't over here. <laughs> it's over there it's, where it is. It's, it's over there, though. It's, it's over from there. from Niger. It's over there. That shit oh. pop. That shit pop. Oh. Way, way over there. Damn, boy, What's next, stupid. man? <laughs> What's so, next? How about the cuffing? Man, we got this, we got this Monte Carlo outside. You know the fuck? We <laughs> don't. <laughs> we got this we don't have Monte no Carlo Monte outside Carlo. with the lipstick on it. No, it don't. Y'all go to my Instagram at DJ Green Street. <laughs> lipstick on Hold on, OG. I don't nah. Fuck I don't go to my Instagram. Uh-uh. I'm fuck giving that. away Carlos' car. Time we go on the road for the real girl coming. With kisses. They come, they going to Texas. They, they going to Texas this weekend. We get back. Uh uh. Hey, I ain't stopping at no lights. No. <laughs> it's it's, it's drive yeah. itself. No. Nah, <laughs> you drive this. Nah, for real though. Oh, hold on, OG. It? No. I'm about to say. OG, no. we cannot let you get out of here 
without you giving us an exclusive. We want to know some exclusive shit where it's like you ain't told nobody that done happened while you done interacted with all these motherfucking greats. Have you told anybody any of this stuff you told us so far? A lot of... Uh, I don't know when y'all turn the cameras on. They been on. <laughs> See, they red. Yeah, these cameras. <laughs> the motherfucker that red, that mean record, OG. These cameras drive they sell. Yeah, they go crazy. Those nah, cameras actually <laughs> operate on AI. Yeah, we, we say the shit, and then it interprets it to better shit. <laughs> it mm -hmm. pick up. Yeah, this is... Hey, now, time out. Fuck you, time out. It's going to say, hell about. are you saying? The fuck are you talking about? The, the camera bottom, got Snapchat yeah. filters on it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what kind of exclusive story you want. I don't know. I want one of them, one of them bangles. Just give us something that you, you be like, what the fuck? I'm gonna give you a good one. Okay. This right in your hood. Okay. So when Derek got out, right? Opened, Derek is one of the owners at Club when Crucial. When Derek got out and, and opened up Club Crucial. Right. I told him, you know, get the club going. Let's see what night gonna already jump off. And then whatever night don't jump off, then I'll do that night. Right. So we should talk, talk, talk. So once we crank it up, I crank it up on Saturdays. It went crazy. So he used to always tell me, like, you don't know how big you are. This a hood stuff. This ain't no celebrity stuff. Right. So you don't know how big you are. So I ain't know what you're talking about. I ain't think nothing about it. So probably about six months later, maybe a year later, I, you know, I used to sit in the, in, uh, I used to sit on the deep freezer in the back. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. About months and months went by. I'm sitting on the freezer. A dude come through the door. Derek, look at the dude and look at me. Look at the dude, look at me. He said, hey. He said, guess who that is? Dude said, who? He said, that's Greg Street. He's like, what? No. Nigga, you Greg Street? No. Nigga, I did 25 years with you, boy. Cause Derek used to always tell me, like, in the penitentiary, like, you like, bro, you, you like, it's God then Greg Street in the federal pen in Atlanta. On more than having them. So the dude say, the dude say, man, listen, bro, every day when we get ready to go to lockdown, we come inside, everybody go in their city, we're like, hey man, hey, tell DC to give me my radio. Hey man, hey man, tell Carlos to give me my radio. It's almost six o'clock. We like, bro. You don't even realize like how many guys from all over the country that like all we be waiting for every day is at six o'clock. He was like, he was like, bro, that's all we be waiting. He said, bro, then he hit me with this. He said, when you left V13 and went back to Dallas for them three years, and you was only just working on Saturdays in Atlanta, he like, bro, we were so mad. He said, bro, we were pissed off. You, you probably started a couple of fights. <laughs> That's that's a, that's a crazy story. That was that was a crazy story to me. That kind of boosts you into touching all these greats and shit. Like you ain't got no outcast story. Oh yeah, Erica Badu just told one of them on Instagram Live. We was on live before her show. You know, Erica, I had a birthday party for Erica Badu mm -hmm. at Esso, mm -hmm. and Dre came. That's where they met, and she was talking about that on the, on the Instagram Live. That's how they met. But like one crazy story, a few people have heard it. But Prince did the Fox Theater one time. It was in the 90s. Right. Prince came to the Fox. And Prince is like a real music head, for real. Like, he just liked to go jam and rock out. That's his thing. So I think his manager's name was Bobby. His name was Bobby. Bobby Cosby. Hey, man. And he found a club. Prince going to perform tonight after they get through at the, uh, at the, at the Fox. Mm -hmm. So I called Abe and Esso. Said, hey, hey man, I'm bringing Prince to the club tonight. Like, man, you bullshit. I said, man, I'm bringing Prince to the club tonight. You gonna perform? He's like, man, come on, man. But Prince performed in Esso so long, I left. I left his ass in there. He was still in there. He was still in there, man. I left. I'm like, man, I'm not finna spend the night in here with you, man. No. <laughs> Damn. So much legendary shit happened at that show. Well, what That's time crazy. Is day? Like, you know, the Fox, you don't know the show, the Fox be over by 11, 12. Okay. So he came, they, they left the Fox and came right around there. Because I had to get the drum set, they had everything already set up. Oh, we had the guitar okay. amps and the drum sets and already on the stage. Well, we right back to work. 
Did it again. Man, man, because you know, that's so you say, the barbecue grill outside okay. by yeah. the fence. Yeah. Man, I'm out there, man. I'm, I'm about to go to sleep. I'm like, man, I'm ready to go. Them folks in there having a ball. <laughs> Going crazy. What? Let's go crazy for real. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. That's a lot of stories, man. Um, when I brought Master P to the 559, that was the first time he came to Atlanta. Okay. Oh, nigga. Cash money to the 559. Okay. First time they ever came. They, they didn't even have a universal deal there. They, they were just independent. Right. But like, BG was so hot, like, BG was the man. Like, BG, and a lot of people don't know that Bum B from UGK mm -hmm. was like the A and R for cash money. Mm -hmm. He was helping baby them. That's why when you go back to all them cash money compilations, it was always a Bum B verse on some of them songs. Okay. Because he was like the A and R in the game. Mm. Fire. Mm. You remember Brother Hashim? Uh-huh. This is a crazy story. I'm going to go with the first one first. So Brother Hashim called me one day. He was like, hey, man, I need you to uh, come to Pimp C house tonight. Mm -hmm. Pimp C was living in Alpharetta. He said, I got somebody you need to meet, bro. You got to see this shit. You ain't going to believe it. So um, I go out there. I walk in the house. These two young dudes in the house, in the studio. Guess who it was? Who? Goosey and Webby. Yeah, no. Young in here. They were young. So Pimp C had hooked up with Mel. So Ch Mel and Turk on um, Trill. Uh -huh. So Pimp C had hooked up with Mel. They got real tight. And they formed this whole little family to blow up. Trill Entertainment and Boosie and Webby. Mm -hmm. And fast forward after all that happened, when Pimp C didn't put no album out, what, what, what year did that Benz come out? That CL Benz, that CL 600 came out. Nobody had one. Pimp C was the only one that had one. But Jay-Z wanted, Pimp C didn't want to do Big Pimp. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's why we yeah, listen yeah. to the song, Bum B verse like 30 bars long. Right. And Pimp C verse only like eight bars long. Right. If it wasn't for Brother Hashim, it wouldn't have been no big pimping. Brother Hashim booked Patchworks, picked Pimp C ass up, took him to the studio, and made him record that verse. Dang it. And then what happened after yeah, that? That's the, yeah, that's the verse that everybody saying, man. And remember, Jay-Z and Bun B shot their video, shot their part overseas mm -hmm. at, yeah, on the yeah. island. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to shoot that shit in Miami. And Pimp C shot his part in Miami because he wanted to drive that car down there. Right. He was going to call those milk. Yeah. yeah. I'm driving yeah. my beans down there, man. Y'all yeah. got to figure this shit out. That's what he said. I ain't going over across that border. Yeah. Man. I ain't finna do that. <laughs> I wanted to find somewhere over here. Y'all can kind of make it look like that. Yeah. Right. So they went to Miami. <laughs> Pimp C took the beans down. <laughs> <laughs> on their ass. They ain't going across the water, man. Somebody yeah. got it hopped out with old girl with the mink on. Fat. In the, Rolling in, night. They in my cool. That's when they said, that's when that man said, uh, TV ain't got no temperature. Yep. That nigga said, TV ain't got no temperature. You I don't listen to that shit ever since. I've almost passed out trying to record in some goddamn jackets and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Burnt the fuck up. Damn. Wearing your hoodies right now. Man. You said you brought, yep. you brought Master P down here first time. Yep, 559. Well, actually, I used to do, remember I used to do 559 on Thursday and the gate on on Friday. Gate? Hey, hey, I didn't hear so much about the gate. So I would, book, I would book them on Thursday and Friday. So we do 559, do the gate, do, do 559 on Thursday, and then go to the gate on Saturday. Master P and Cash Money. A lot of other artists too, Mystical. I'm going to tell you a crazy ATL story. The first time Mystical performed in Atlanta, uh -huh. this this is a contest of what you were talking about about your music. Uh -huh. Hot, it was Hot 97.5 back then. Mystical had a song called Beware, and it was the A single, it was the single to, that they was pushing, that the label was pushing. But Larry Kahn was the national rep or the VP, and Greg Powell was the rep in, in Dallas. Uh -huh. So we really knew what was going on, because Mystical was independent before he got on job. Right. So, I was like, I, and I had been telling him forever, like, bro, 
that be where ain't the one. That here I go, that other side, that right. B side, right. that's the one. Right. <clears throat> Atlanta, y'all remember this. Yeah. Mystical performed at Birthday Bash, at the first Birthday Bash, and they booed him off stage. And Steve Hegwood told the Jive rep that he would never play another Mystical record on, on his radio station. And I'm like, bro, don't trip, because this when I start playing this, here I go. Oh, He'll be he back talking again. He did beware. That's what got him booed. But you know, that station used to play a lot of East Coast. Was, they played a lot of East Coast music. Okay. And they had him on the show with like Tribe Called Quest and all the East Coast artists. Okay. And they booed him off stage. At what? Well, at Center Stage. The, oh, here. Yeah. In Atlanta, birthday mm. bands. The first birthday band. The first birthday, birthday band was at Center Stage. I think it was. Yep. Yeah. God, they done grew. Right. That motherfucker hold a thousand. Yep. Yeah. The they booed, they booed, man, they booed yeah. Mystical off stage at Birthday Bash, and I told Larry, I said, don't even worry about it. Because he was like, man, I'll never play another one of his records on my station. I said, I bet you he do. Because when, when I flipped that other side over... Okay, so tell us what happened when you flipped that other side over. Yeah. Like, you were like... Don't, don't. <laughs> Here I go. Yeah. That was the one. Like a coyote on a goat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that, that song was, the one. was hard. That song Ooh. was super, super hard. That ain't okay, no sample. So that ain't no sample or nothing. So the Beware song, that's why Buddy on uh, UNLV song be like, give a fuck what you saying about Beware. Oh, the dra yeah, Dragon yeah, in the River? Yeah. Okay. UNLV? Yeah. Yeah, he had to come back with that. The music been crazy. Damn. It's done come a long way, though. A long, long way. Man. Yeah. I don't, know, I don't know where we at, but we here. It's a whole... We're at 85. <laughs> right, no, man. I'm talking about the music game. Yeah, we yeah. somewhere. DC, y'all fly on the way. Talk to your talk, OG. Come on. I ain't put my glasses on, because I'm tired of talk. You put mine on, too. Let's go. DC Let's go. on the way. Let's go. Man. DC can sing. He can rap. He can, he, he can sing gospel. Come on. He can sing R&B. Come on, man. He can man. dance. Yeah. Hey, man. Okay. No cap. This is, this is the ATL Jamie Foxx. Right here. That's him. I appreciate it, OG. That's him. You gotta thank Jamie Foxx from Turo, Texas, bro. Jamie Foxx from Turo, Texas, right outside of Dallas, a little small town. Damn. And he was just like you. He went to LA, he wanted to be a singer. So he got in the TV. You got in the got in the TV, got in, got in the comedy. And he came full circle. So don't trip. I went. <laughs> We're gonna see that thing through, my boy. No cap. <laughs> Got to see it through. Carlos is manager? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> no cap. I ain't touching nobody money. I ain't touching no money. We damn sure gonna get some. You know exactly where we at, man. This is your first time stopping through here, but oh, don't man. let it be. I'm, I'm so proud of y'all, man. I remember y'all first started this. Carlos, like, man, you gotta come. Like, bro, I really don't. I really don't like telling these stories. Like a lot of stuff, I'm still, I still think a lot of things that happened were just for the people that saw it. Mm. Yeah. They were supposed to be the only people to see it. <clears throat> so like, only I'm, I'm doing it. I, I probably maybe did what five or six podcasts my whole life, and like they've been trying to get me to do a podcast. I want to do a podcast. I did a couple episodes. I did one with Future. I did one with L.A. Reid. It's called Business is a Talent. I think we got to make sure young people understand that there's so much going on behind the scenes. Like, we got three guys on camera from 85 South. But there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve people in here. And they all get to the money. They all get to the money. And a lot of people don't understand when you're a celebrity, it costs you so much money to be that person. Right. Somebody can get less than half of the money you make and live the same lifestyle. Because it's all about quality of life at the end of the day. At the end of the motherfucking day. <laughs> at the end of the day, hey, you got 100 million, I got 10, you can't do nothing I can't do. Talk your time about G. It's up by a yacht. <laughs> I, don't, I just need a basketball. I don't need no yacht. Yeah, I'm like, what the right. fuck? Are you, you on a yacht by yourself? You Stupid ass, bud. You know how bored, you know how bored, like, when you in entertainment doing what we doing, you don't even want to be on no yacht with a whole bunch of people. Not no yacht right. that you on. Right. Yeah. 
Right. <laughs> Some shit you on. I'm going to get on my bad boat, came with two people, three people, most get on there. Fact. I'm finna have a ball. I don't want to get on no jet ski. No cap. I don't want to get on no yacht. I don't want to get on none of that. But we been fishing. We ain't number three niggas. Yeah. No oh, cap. yeah, DC, we been fishing. No cap. DC, see me hook a monster and let him get off. No cap. <laughs> so you know how to get off, OG? I get his off, OG. The fish and TV show coming, too. Come on, now. It's coming. OK, Real bet. soon. I put cameras on the boat, so I don't need no cameraman. What you talking about? I just give them the, give them the masters, they edit it up, put it together. Got a camera on the front, camera on the back. Get a camera on the side, too. This one on the side. <laughs> <laughs> the boat ain't been wide, you don't know. I know. I've been on that motherfucker it's, with you. It's on the side. You're going to be in the water. They was out there. They was out there catching them things. He, he, he got a professional with him, right? He know the water, but like... Where y'all go? It's a science to this shit. <clears throat> I took him to uh, Shoal Creek. Okay. In Clay County. Okay. He like, you see that water over there? It's a little shallow. Come on, Greg. Go over here. And then Greg was like... Uh. We went over there. He was like, yeah, I can feel it. Why that? <laughs> Hold tight, hold tight. Hey, I'm like, this nigga saw the nigga. This nigga saw the fish. Man, I ain't caught shit all day, man. Look, give me your run. In fact, you know what we gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? Guess what? What? He live in Dallas now. I knew it. I'm gonna get him, I'm gonna hook y'all up so you can go to the show. Cause he has like Yeah, tell him to push up on me. He, he works for uh, he works for a lot of bait companies now, but he he's the designer, but because he's not a famous person, you don't know you fishing with his bait. Right. Once he it's like a record, once he produces it. He give it to them, and they mass produce it, but you don't know it came from him. What are you talking on the phone? Hell you got like 250 yeah. some skews? Hell yeah. We finna get a bait. And 100, yeah. He said, whatever bait you want, man, come on, man. Let's get it. I like, you What's just up, spin Isaac? on the phone? Hey, Ozzy, 85 South show is coming to Dallas. This might be shoe. an old video by the time you see this, but we gonna call you today. <laughs> hey, my boy. Come to the show. I, and we had a ball on, on Ozzy with Big Ranger. Yeah. He was out there, he was out there catching shit. Left and right. Been a good day. Man, we can talk this shit all night, man. Make sure you come back and fuck with us over here. I'm coming. Man. Man, man. man, we love you. I might let y'all produce my, produce my show. Come on, man. Come on, man. man. Oh, there you have it, folks. Let's go with it. Five South Show. Oh, you Greg you Street. Got him back. Hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on. I'm having a good day. Hold on. You got your own shit, too. And not get what? nothing. They got, got my name. This is one of these for the person that got it. That was coming. I got, mm -hmm. I got some 85 South gear. No cap. Something. I'm about to go do it. Come on, man. Y'all know I'm really the king of the South for real. I just oh, don't yeah, trip on that. Shit. That's why we got you a jacket. Yeah, yeah, we got you a jacket. Got a hat. Go. 85 it up. South. Go. I'm, I'm wearing it tomorrow to the Braves, man. Oh, yeah. Braves. Oh, yeah. HBCU yeah. night tomorrow. For real? Hey. Yep. Damn. Oh, yeah. I gotta Alabama, go to work. Alabama State gonna perform. The band gonna perform. Ooh, that would've been at the Braves. Yeah, you need yeah. all that. Damn, I gotta go to work. I got it. Why them niggas go play yeah, yesterday? Yeah, we got all that, man. I got you gotta catch shirt. us, though. Oh, yeah, that shit hard. I'm, I'm about to show this shirt. What that, I'm about to show this shirt I'm about to put out. Put that black bag in right here. It's, it's over there. Is it, it a black bag over there? I'm about to put this shirt out. See, if I put it on y'all, show that means I got to go ahead and get it done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you got to go ahead and do it. They've been sitting in my garage. This the initiative. They've been sitting in my garage in the, in the boxes in the plastic. For two years, Let me see. I came up with this shirt during the pandemic. Feel this. That real quality. That's what you call premium. But in fact, you saw it in the money video. Uh -huh. The money is the only person I gave one to. For all 85 South fans. There you go. Oh, yes, sir. I need yeah. one. You yeah. don't need a million followers to make a million dollars. Man, fuck the followers. Talk your talk. Okay. Oh, there you have it, folks. Oh. People get it confused, though. Know, if you're a celebrity, you, have it. you need a million fans. But right. if you're selling products, you can make a million dollars with 10,000 followers, yes, 5,000 Yes, followers. you can. We see it every day. Well, there you have it, folks. 85 South Show, Greg Street. We're out of here. You did. If you love to see that, we're going to be on Thursday. Yo, come to the polls. You did. Where's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that? Your vote counts. It definitely counts. It's your man Carlos Miller, and I'm over here at the 85 South Studios, 85 Ways. And look, if you would like to be featured on the black market, all you have to do is go to the website, go to black market, click submit, and submit. If you want to be featured on here, you can come kick it and be my guest, and we'll talk about your business and how we can scale up and what's going good and let the people know exactly what you got going on. Hit the website, register, submit, and come kick it with me on the black market.
You know what that means. It's money on the floor. Hey, what's up, man? Carlos Miller. Look, you know the 85 South Shore is back on tour with the Big Business Tour. This year, we're hitting the road and we're bringing comedy, culture, and chaos to cities all across the country. And we want you to be a part of it. We're looking for partners in every city, whether you're a local business or a national brand, this is your chance to get in on the action. Don't miss the opportunity to sponsor a show and connect with our incredible audience. If you're interested, just hit the email on the screen and let's make big business happen together. The 85 South Show Big Business Tour is coming to a city near you.